a blessed day and welcome this morning we will be meditating on the book of galatians chapter 5 and verse 16 so i say walk by the spirit that you will not gratify the desires of the flesh yesterday we meditated on a disciple's mind the main reason for this is that a born again person needs to understand that there is still this remnant of the flesh within the physical body in contrast to the ungenerated man disciples now have the power led by the holy spirit to say yes to god and no to the flesh whereas before they were controlled as slaves by the flesh it is a fearful thing to consider that if we allow fleshly thoughts to control us our fallen and unredeemed bodies are still able to frustrate the desires of our redeemed and eternal souls the body is still the center of sinful desires emotional depression and spiritual doubts the greatest enemy of a disciple is not the devil it's the flesh if a disciple is undisciplined this can cause much damage to the spirit therefore disciples must learn to put to death each day the desires of the flesh and be alert in spirit when asked to account for the sleeping giant mount pinatubo in philippines a research scientist from the philippines department of volcanology observed when a volcano is silent for many years a people forget that it's a volcano and begin to treat it like a mountain like mountain pinatubo the fallen flesh always has the potential to erupt bringing great harm both to ourselves and to the others the biggest mistake people can make is to ignore the volcano and move back onto what seems like a dormant mountain never forget the flesh is a volcano not simply a mountain and it will always be a volcano until we are glorified therefore let us crucify the flesh on a daily basis walk in the spirit and let the holy spirit control us so that we may live lives that glorify the lord let us pray heavenly father please help me to crucify the flesh and its desires on a daily basis in jesus name i pray amen shalom maranatha